You know, Sarah, I'm impressed with the Pandora that you have. Can you tell us uh, what led you to be in love with this romantic instrument and how did you start into it? Um, so, as I said before, my auntie gave this to me. This instrument has been very close to my heart. I haven't always played it. Um, luckily for me, in South Australia, there is a Bandura teacher. There's one in South Australia and one in Sydney. So, my Bandura teacher's name is Ihor Kushnir. And when I was 16, I heard about Ihor through the community and my parents encouraged me to go to lessons. So, how I would get there, I lived further outside of the city, so I would on a Friday night, leave school early, walk home, quickly get changed and hop on the train for maybe an hour train ride into the city. And then from there, I would catch a tram to another side of town and then walk about two kilometers to get to my lesson. Two kilometers? Two kilometers with my instrument. Um, I was pretty lucky to have the support of my brother for a while, but once I got a bit older, I was more confident to go by myself and I have a very beautiful case at the moment that came from Ukraine about two months ago um, but when I was younger I didn't have the luxury case and I had to carry it under one arm and through through weeks and years of learning I actually had one arm that was just slightly longer as you can see yeah, yeah, yeah. even now so that's that's amazing stretched all the joints um, I took a long break when I got a bit older, maybe five years, and once, uh, just before the war started, I decided to get back into Bandura, and I'm so happy that I did because this is a, a powerful symbol of Ukraine, and it shows of the resilience of the people from the history of this instrument. Yeah, and yeah I'm, I still have lessons today with Ihor and Damien um, for the... Bandura Ensemble, ensemble called Vodokhrai, yeah. which means waterfall, so, yeah. yeah. You know, uh, I, I was wondering, you were 16 years old, carry, carrying this huge instrument. Uh, how heavy is it? Uh, it's about, about nine, nine kilos, so with wow. this case and the travel case that Ihor gave me, it was 22 kilograms to bring to the Philippines. Oh my God. And it was a challenge in the airport, but it's very worth it. It's, you know, it, it's amazing. I find it amazing because um, I admire your dedication, given the fact that you, know, you were 16 years old, walking mm -hmm. two kilometers, taking the train and tram, carrying this nine kilos of instrument, mm -hmm. all for the sake of loving the music and promoting the culture. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any regrets, Sarah? I regret that I didn't pursue it more diligently throughout my uh, early ad adult life. Yeah. But so you're... I'm still young, but <laughs> <laughs> still, but that time that I took off to pursue other passions, I could have been practicing this, but you know, you always come back to your first loves, and this is definitely one of my one of my greatest loves, and it's a passion of mine, and I hope to continue for the rest of my life to get better at this instrument and showcase the uniqueness of this instrument and the Ukrainian culture. Yeah, it's amazing. The Filipinos will certainly look forward to watching you here perform and. Uh, I know uh, we don't really have enough time, but we are really grateful for uh, inviting the Philippine Business Angels to uh, give this opportunity to interview you and, and learn more about Ukraine, Ukrainians. Um, I have one request on behalf of the Filipino people, uh, Sarah, if you don't mind. Uh, you know, bear is it's the harbinger of Christmas for many Filipinos. I was told, yes. May I make one request? Can you play a Christmas song that at least uh, would warm the hearts of the Filipino people? Can you do that for us? Yeah, of course I can. Um, I have one song. I haven't played it since Australian Christmas 
last year, but I'll give it a go for you. It's called Shedrick or Carol of the Bells, more commonly known as. So it's actually written by a Ukrainian composer and yeah, it's a traditional song. So here it is. Merry Christmas to you all. I know that these Burr months really do create the excitement for Christmas that is coming and I hope that this season is going to be one of joy and where you can connect with your family and loved ones.